This is the Home Low Guard, and while its name may sound funny, it's actually named after five-time Black Belt World Champion, Home Low Bahal, and it's one of the best open guards in Jiu-Jitsu for slowing down your opponents and setting up your attacks. And as you guys should all know, playing guard is one of the most important aspects in Jiu-Jitsu, because if you don't have a good guard, it's going to be impossible to keep your opponents from passing and crushing your soul with their pressure, which feels terrible, by the way. So today, we're going to break down the Home Low Guard, show you how to set it up, and go over key attacks that you should know. I'm going to have one spider sleeve grip. And the other side, instead of having the spider guard, I'm going to have the collar grip. Make sure to keep this pressure on this arm. I'm not relaxing. So I'm pulling down here, extending that leg out. Other hand, control the collar. And I prefer to grab like high up. If I'm too shallow, yeah, you can post out or base out. You might also be able to do a one-arm grip break when it's right in front of them. You know, some of these strong guys. But when it's back there, can you break that grip, Cousin Tony? It's kind of awkward. And in the last detail, I don't want to be square. I'm going to use my free leg to shrimp out to the side. A few different things. You see how Cousin Tony's kind of pushing my leg down. Usually he's going to either try to grab my pant. I can try to break that grip by kicking out. That works really well. I can also re-pummel if he tries to push it down. It doesn't really do much. One grip that I really look for is if he grips like my collar grip, because sometimes that's all they can get. So whenever that happens, we have a really great attack we can do. I'm just going to lasso my leg over. And then hopefully, if he keeps that grip, that works really perfect for me. I'm gonna switch off the collar behind his arm, kind of tricep area with this deep lasso. And look, I'm just gonna kick to break his grip and then switch to the umaplata. And I really use that back leg to help me control. So look how I keep this sleeve grip and I'm posting off his bicep. So it, it just helps me keep that umaplata. From here, I'm just gonna lock it down. And pro tip, if I keep this arm, he can't start pushing my legs down. You know, start doing that. So if I keep that arm, man, it's very tough. For my tall guys, sometimes if you're able to get that arm through, like keep that arm, I can feed my leg into his armpit, okay? And start stretching him out. So if he's not giving me that arm, that's okay. My next attack is looking for between his legs. So I'm gonna take my free leg again, and instead of going for this lasso, I'm gonna go inside and kick under. I'm gonna use my grip on the back, but on the bicep to pull him forward. Instead of letting go here, because sometimes he's faster than me, he might throw that leg off, or he might kick this back. Yeah, that might happen. I'm gonna bring my knee next to his ankle, kind of lock it in, and then look, I re-pummel this leg into the hip. And then I can go for a lot of sweeps. I can also start setting up my ankle lock attack. So with this foot in his hip, I can start to elevate. So say he's smart, he's like, he's not keeping that arm, he's kind of stepping back. So I can't get that. What a lot of guys will do, they'll try to step back over and force like a half guard. Exactly. If he keeps his legs open, I can get reverse de la Hiva. And then we kind of did this sweep with Cousin Tony today, but with the sleeve grip, I can also do it with the collar grip too. He might try and post, but that gives you like a lot of good options for like your sit-up guard. Something I see a lot of, especially with the old school guys, they're gonna sit their butt down, you like put your, Exactly. I can still pull him back into my X guard. So I'm using my grips, collar grip, sleeve grip, and I'm just gonna keep my leg extended. So normally we keep our leg kind of bent whenever, whenever we do sweeps like this. For today, I want you guys to keep your leg straight. I can stay on the collar, but I like to switch to the leg. And now I'm just gonna sweep him over my body, keeping that leg straight. From here, you know, you can go Ashi, or I prefer to go inside, so under. From here, I can keep the pant. I can move my leg off the arm, go to sweep. I mean, anytime you play like a spider guard, you can get to there. So a lot of times I'll be here. I'm gonna kick one leg between his armpit. A lot of times the guy might try to grab something on that side. So once he's got his grip established, I know he's not gonna let go usually. So from here, I'll switch to the collar. And now again, I stretch him out, foot goes to the floor and I start moving myself to the side. A lot of times I'll keep holding this and kind of walk, keep walking out. And then that, that's when he's gonna try to get like a grip on my collar. I can start looking for that attack. Boom. I can also do it off the spider lasso. So from here, again, I'm usually gonna break past his body and then switch. And then I, it's like a modified collar sleeve and then I can always switch it back in. So that's a little intermediate step in between from here, it's like collar sleeve, instead of being on the same side, I'm opposite, uh, try to move Cousin Tony. It, it's not about how tall you are, because I know a lot of short people, they try to play these guards, but, you know, even for me, I, I already lost. So before you can start posturing up, 
start controlling his posture. Can he stand up now because I'm turning? You know? And again, if he tries to push his leg off, repomo. If he does manage to get that grip, a lot of times, if I keep moving to the side, yeah, keep the, try to grab the pant. I can also try to kick it out as far as I can go, guys. <laughs> but then I can come back in or always try to come under, looking for that in-between in space. Pull forward. If I'm here and he tries to go down, I can also just kind of feed this leg in. And look, I'm gonna switch my hip over. Go to the pant, the leg, and look, I'm moving him across my body and bumping him with my knee. It's a very powerful situation, very powerful sweep. You guys can go Ashi. I prefer going for this leg just cause say you miss it, you get an advantage point, right? So I'm coming under, putting the hip, cranking down, collar grip. Very strong position. If you can't finish, I pull my leg out, extend, start coming on top. Put me in it real fast, cousin Tony. Especially if you're going against someone that passes really well. If you play spider, they go to spider. You know, these guards, I feel like people have a lot of good answers for, and I can move around because he's not controlling my posture. Let's say he does grab the collar. You know, for here, for me, it, this sucks really bad. I got to start pushing off stuff. I'm leaving some openings for him he could take advantage of. But I, I, I can't really move too well. It just keeps uh, uh, moving out like you were. You know, it's really hard to start doing anything. At most, I can start attacking this leg, but my arm's always, it's kind of vulnerable. So if you lasso. So, you know, a lot of people don't have answers for that guard. So I think that's a good reason to play it. <laughs> Thanks, Cousin yeah. Tony.